Hi, my name is Andrew. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to review the investor types and investment ranges. And this is something that comes up with many of my clients who are looking for databases or looking to have capital raised or advice. And this will help clear up some of the areas that you need to know. A little bit of information about myself. I'm a fundraising strategist with 15 years of experience in high-end real estate sales and marketing spanning Canada, Dubai, and the Caribbean. And over the past two years on Fiverr, I've assisted over 220 clients with startup fundraising, pitch deck refinement, investor outreach strategies, and custom investor databases. In addition, I serve as an advisor to a New York-based investment firm associated with a $60 billion fund. The fund diversifies across many sectors, including income producing real estate, and frequently involves capital commitments in the range of $10 million to $20 million for each project. You can get more information about my services by clicking my Fiverr profile below. So investor levels and characteristics, so this is just a bit of a review so that you can understand if you're looking to raise capital and you fall into certain areas, what are the characteristics, just to make it really simple so that people understand when they're raising capital, who they should be targeting. So first off, we have individual investors and high net worth investors. Uh, or even sometimes ultra high net worth investors. And then we go to corporate investors and institutional investors. So they all have different characteristics and depending on where they are, sometimes they're gonna blend into each other. But first and foremost, an individual investor is usually someone that has $1,000 to $100,000. And what their characteristics are is they invest their personal savings, seek moderate risks and returns. Uh, and the typical annual income EBITDA range might be anywhere from 1000 to 10000 a year. And the best source of investors in my investor databases, and of course, if you've watched my previous videos or you've checked my Fiverr profile, you know I have over 400,000 contacts. So how do you get these type of contacts is you could go on to crowd funding platforms or online investment platforms. So if you're looking to attract individual investors, those are great spots to find them. Now, if you're looking to attract high net worth individuals, and those are clients that will look to invest anywhere from 100 million to a, a million or more, uh, their characteristics are they're wealthy individuals and they seek higher returns, and the typical EBITDA range they'll look at is 10,000 to $100,000. So where do you find those type of investors? You would look at my angel investor networks, again, not necessarily the angel investor lists, but the angel groups, which are firms that are made up of sometimes hundreds of individual angel investors that pull the capital. You could also look at private equity firms or real estate investment groups as another example. Now, if you're looking for or 1 million to 100 million or more, so you're looking at quite a bit of difference, those are ultra high net worth individuals and they're extremely wealthy and they seek diversified opportunities uh, and they're looking for a annual income uh, companies that are ranging 100,000 to a, a 1 million in uh, capital. Um, so that's quite a bit of a different range than the high net worth. So where do those usually come from? They come from family offices or custom ultra high net worth databases and I have a fair bit of those as well. But once we get into these type of lists, they're only for certain clients. Corporate investors. So if you're looking to attract corporate investors, uh, they typically look at opportunities from 1 million to 10 million or more. Uh, and their company seeking strategic investments or partnerships. And they're really looking again for companies uh, or startups that have 100,000 to 1 million plus. Uh, as far as annual income. And the type of databases you can find, those in our corporate investment departments, industry related c conferences, or databases that are uh, sometimes related more to corporate investors, hedge funds, that sort of range. Now, institutional investors, those are quite a bit higher. Uh, they're in the 10 million to 100 million or more range. The characteristics are they're large entity seeking stable long term returns. And again, they're looking for 1 million to 10 million in annual income and above. And the best sources for these investors are institutional investment platforms, investment consultants. Uh, and I also have databases that will help you find those contacts. So it's important to remember that if you're looking for these higher ranges, your company needs to be earning income. Uh, I get a lot of clients on 
my uh, different platforms. Uh, sometimes they're looking to range to uh, raise two to five million dollars, uh, but they don't have any income. And to be honest, if you're looking for these type of clients, again, ultra high net worth corporates, they're not going to lend you that kind of money uh, or at least invest in your startup or your venture. Uh, if you can't prove that you're making some sort of income. So it's best to try to stick to lower ranges and lower classified uh, types of investors. You could, again, look at angel groups or micro-venture capital, uh, but you're certainly not going to look into uh, private equity or uh, the other types of uh, investment vehicles. So keep that in mind when you're trying to arrange your pitch deck and your startup for how you want to approach investors. You can get more information like this from my ultimate guide to raising startup capital. It has over 160 pages, uh, includes key strategies for business plans, pitch decks, angel investor, venture capital sourcing, and it also has a list of potential USA-based venture capital firms that you can approach. And you click my Fiverr link below to go to this gig here, which says I will provide a guide to raising startup capital if you want to purchase that. Good news, this is only $5, and it's the only thing that you need if you're just starting to get ready to raise capital. So my databases include over 400,000 contacts in venture capital, private equity, angel investors, family investment offices, hedge funds, high net worth and ultra high net worth investor databases and these are exclusive databases and private clients uh, investment banks and more for more information on my databases and fundraising services click my favorite link below thank you for watching please like share and subscribe